Before the wind started howling and the snow falling tonight in the metro, some drivers tried to beat the storm to be with family on Christmas Eve. We literally drove into the wall of the ice storm. People like Mark Windling, who left for Wichita this morning, but never reached his final destination. With ice building on his lights, doors, and antenna, and speed slowing to 15 miles per hour, it simply became too dangerous. The um, wind picked up and literally was pulling the car left and right, and it would just slide it on the ice, and I felt like I had no more control over the car, so I was like, I told my friends, I said, we need to turn around. The conditions Mark encountered near Emporia arrived hours later in the metro, starting with windblown ice pellets on I-35. The sledding grew tougher as the sleet turned to snow, smacking the last of the last minute shoppers right in the face at the Walmart parking lot. I was putting together a Christmas toy and the screws aren't quite long enough. So, so you had to I, make the emergency Walmart. So I have to Walmart make the emergency show. Walmart thing to see if they have screws that are about an eighth of an inch longer. I'm just happy that it happened when they said it was gonna happen. So you're happy about the white Christmas? Oh, yes sir, very much. All about Steve and the new Harry Potter. Tonight, Mark is watching movies and eating alone after surviving his white knuckle drive. I had both hands gripped on the steering wheel, so the car was kind of quiet and we just made it back to the city and we were glad to get home safe. He'll hit the road again next weekend to celebrate a belated Christmas and hopes the weather will cooperate. Get your wheels this way, you didn't put it dry. Because I walked last night, it snowed a little bit, then it stopped, and then I got up this morning and yeah. That's it. It's still coming down tonight, and this continues to be one of the most familiar sights around the metro. Seems that just getting from point A to point B is a Christmas gift in itself. Oh! 
Spinning their wheels. It's how a lot of drivers navigating Kansas City's streets spent their Christmas day. Everywhere you looked, there were people trying to free their cars by pushing, Woo! shoveling, even getting a nudge from a snowplow. Or you could be lucky enough to bump into Harry Williams. God bless you, man. All right, y'all have a Merry Christmas. A guy who spent the night clearing away the snow. Another one down. Then instead of resting, celebrated Christmas Day by putting his four-wheel drive to good use. They pull off in that thick snow right there at the edge, and they can't get any farther with these low cars. Are you just going around looking for just people? Just going around helping everybody that I can. He figured tow truck drivers like Steve Campbell already had their hands full. How yeah. busy have you been? Uh, non-stop. It's terrible. The roads are real terrible. So terrible that after his shift, Steve might need to give his own truck a lift. Actually, I got my own truck stuck in the driveway this morning. <laughs> my little pickup truck. It was such a mess on the roads, this Domino's Pizza flipped off its open sign for the first time in seven years. As we found out, drivers simply couldn't make their deliveries. Here I am, trying to avoid someone else. Thought I cut through here. Well, that didn't quite work out. Another good Samaritan showed up to pull Ken out of his jam. A scenario repeated all over Kansas City on Christmas Day. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's all right. <laughs> By Harry or anyone else with a shovel and a few minutes to help push. It's Christmas. They need to get out and they get into the family. So. We got to do what we got to do to get her done. It's a good thing that Harry and other Good Samaritans have been around. One towing company we talked to said they've received more than 200 calls because of road conditions. They've only been able to respond to about a third of those. In Kansas City, Ryan Kath, NBC Action News. Drivers help push other drivers out of snow drifts to keep stranded cars from blocking the side streets. Actually, that's the second car that we've, we've gotten out of the out of the way. So we're, one by one, we're getting them out. <laughs> out of the stoplight. So. Then Darren Keener had to try to get out himself. We'll get back to him. The problem at intersections like this is when the snow is cleared off major streets like State Line Road. Then it piles up and blocks the side street openings, creating work for Good Samaritans. It's worth it though. You know, people need help. And so, you know, I'd hate them. I'd hate for them to be stranded out here. I'd hate to be stranded somewhere myself. Here are signs of a struggle as someone used the old cardboard trick to get out. Others spin their tires until the news crew stops shooting and helps push. In some areas, it's hard to tell the difference between being in a yard over here and then stepping over into the street. This is still snow packed, hasn't been plowed at all. The only thing we can see here are some tire tracks from vehicles that somehow managed to make it through. And yeah. remember Darren? He made it out on the third try. Not bad for a guy visiting from Miami. Uh, I'm getting my full fair share of uh, winter, winter snow and everything. Yeah. The Christmas blizzard of 2009 will leave many memories, but first it has to end. The snow is still blowing and falling, drifting and blocking. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. Many folks are still spinning their wheels when it comes to staying ahead of Mother Nature. One big challenge is getting through the snow drifts. We have you know, a drift this high on either side. You've got to take a straight shot to make it through. Those running out of supplies headed to Strasser True Value Hardware this morning. Items that kept flying out the door, snow shovels, ice melt, and snow blowers. For last yesterday, we got a big load of snow blowers in. Pretty well out now, but we will be getting hopefully more tomorrow. Roger Iles made the trip for a new shovel, but it wasn't for himself. Well, we're getting a second shovel because uh, we're all dug out, but we're going to go help my mom and sister-in-law if a couple people get dug out. Roger wasn't too worried about getting his car stuck. And my biggest concern was whether the snowblower would start, which I hadn't started for three years, and it fired right up. Strasser manager Terry Burke fears many will wait until the last minute before heading off to work to dig out. Probably have to call in because they won't have, be able to get out of their driveway, so they need to start thinking today to get their shoveling done. And that could make for a very miserable, messy Monday.